Hi everyone, I'm Georgiana, your English teacher, and I'm here with a new episode. But first of all, I would like to thank my students for sharing the podcast. Every time you share the podcast, more people are learning English without grammar and without any textbooks. Thank you for sharing the Speak English podcast. And remember that you can get the transcript at speakenglishpodcast.com. Uh, one more thing. This episode is about job interviews. So if you want to prepare for a job interview, I have a job interview course. Check out my premium courses at speakenglishpodcast.com slash courses. Take care. Bye-bye. Today, I want to talk about some stories that occurred in a job interview. I think it will be fun. Later, you'll practice grammar with a point of view story. Let's say you're looking for a job. You have a degree, a master, or an impressive background. And you are a real professional. One day, a call. It's a company that wants to interview you. You're excited. On the day of the interview, you prepare yourself. You get a nice haircut, dress properly. You are a bit nervous, but focused. And the interview begins in English. You didn't see that coming. All your preparation, degrees, masters, background don't seem relevant anymore. Here's the harsh truth. Not having interview skills in English will prevent you from getting the job of your life. However, there's good news. If you already know some English, preparing for a job interview is easy and you don't need too much time. At the end of the lesson, I will tell you how you can prepare for a job interview in only two weeks or less. Okay, let's listen to some stories that happened in job interviews. Let's start with the first one. In the interview, they asked me, Where do you see yourself in five years? And I answered, Not here. They never called me back. In this case, he was right. In five years, he wouldn't work there because they never called him back. The next one. After undergoing three interviews for the position, I was introduced to my new boss, who happened to be the father of my ex. Despite being very worried, we ended up becoming good friends, even more so than I was dating his daughter. What a small world! In this case, the interview could have ended very badly. But we can safely say that this guy was very lucky. Let's continue with the next one, which is very interesting. The interviewer started looking at me with a puzzled face. And the first thing he asked me was if I could prove all the experience described in my CV. I told him that I had no experience at all since I had just finished my studies. He showed me the CV, and to my amazement, it was my dad's. What a coincidence! For some reason, the interviewer had his father's CV. Maybe the father sent a CV to the same company. Another story. I went to the interview by car and had a little accident with the car and yelled at the other driver. That driver turned out to be my interviewer. Therefore, I didn't get the job. It's unfortunate to have an accident precisely when you go to a job interview. What's even worse is yelling at your interviewer. Next time you go to a job interview, make sure you take the train or the bus. And be nice to everyone. Another story. This one is quite embarrassing. 
After an hour successfully answering the interviewer's tough questions, I got up to say goodbye without realizing that I had been cross legged the whole time. So I fell to the floor. Poor guy. He was convinced he had done a great interview, but he fell in front of the interviewer as he left. What bad luck! This last story is hilarious. I'm very shy, and I was very nervous during an interview. So I started talking in a low voice, and the interviewer started doing the same thing. We both ended up whispering, almost as if we were in a library. It's possible that when we speak in a low tone, we can influence the other person. It's better to speak in a neutral tone. It's actually a funny situation. Remember that you can get the transcript of this episode at speakenglishpodcast.com. Do you know how you can help me? You can share the podcast with your friends and family. That would mean a lot to me. Thanks. Okay, let's move on to the next section. I'll tell you a short story more than one time. Every time I'll change a grammar point. For example, I can change the tense or the person. This way, you will intuitively notice the changes. Okay, let's start. I'll tell the story first in the present tense. I am interviewing an extremely nervous guy. After each question, he is more and more nervous and never gives a right answer. The interview is a real disaster. In the end, the guy says goodbye with an embarrassed look on his face and quickly leaves. But in his haste, he gets the wrong door and enters the printer's room. I wait for a second, but he doesn't come out. My colleague goes to see what's happening and sees that the poor man is so ashamed that he is trying to get out through the small window instead of coming back in. Now let's listen to the same story in the past tense. Yesterday, I interviewed an extremely nervous guy. With each question, he was more and more nervous and never gave the right answer. The interview was a real disaster. In the end, the guy said goodbye with an embarrassed look on his face and quickly left. But in his haste, he walked through the wrong door and into the printer's room. I waited a few seconds, but he didn't come out. My colleague went to see what was going on. He saw that the poor guy was so embarrassed that he was trying to get out through the small window instead of coming back in. All right, it's the end of this short point of view story. Poor guy, he wanted to leave quickly but he got the wrong door. He tried to run out the window. I don't know if I would do the same thing. Start preparing for a job interview in English in only two weeks or less. Get my job interview course at speakenglishpodcast.com slash courses. This is the end of this episode. Remember to listen to it several times. It will help with your English. See you soon. Bye-bye. Did you enjoy today's episode? Get the transcript now at speakenglishpodcast.com. speakenglishpodcast.com.